How's it going, everyone? This is Tom. Now, if you follow me on Twitter, you may know that I've been hinting about doing a Mac Mini 2013 project, and this is actually to build an awesome budget Mac, which is an absolute beast. The main reason that I'm doing this is because the Mac Mini is now a really powerful machine on its own with the processors inside of it. You can get them with the i5 Intel Core i5 processor and the Intel Core i7 processor, and the i7 is actually a quad-core processor, and that's the one I'm using in this build. That's going to set you back $799 or £679. However, you can just as easily go for the $599 or £499 version, and that will just be a little bit slower. The main objective in this build is to create a computer which is fast, powerful, yet doesn't break the bank. So we will be putting in 16 gigabytes of crucial DDR3 memory. This is going to run you about $100, which is actually $200 off the price that Apple would charge you for putting 16 gigs in, as they were going to charge you $300 for a 16 gigabyte of RAM edition. We're also going to be using an SSD, and this is the Crucial M4 series. It's getting a little bit old now, however, that's still very good because it means it keeps the price down. You can pick up a 512 gigabyte variant of the Crucial M4 for $350 on Amazon right now, or you could pick up a 256 for $185 right now on Amazon versus $300 from Apple. I'd just like to give a huge thanks to Crucial. They're an awesome company. They make some fantastic deals, so all of these parts will be linked in the top bar of the description but let's head straight in and unbox this Mac Mini. So as I said, this is the 2012, late 2012, 2.3 gigahertz quad core i7 variant. Uh, let's go ahead and slice straight in, uh, just like this. Once you've got the shrink wrap off, you can just kind of pull this out. Uh, this is a kind of a sleeve over the top of the box. Uh, let's try and work out how to do this. I actually have trouble with, with doing this at the start, and I almost... Uh, unboxed the Mac Mini on top of itself or uh, dropped it out of the bottom as you can see just there and I managed to hold it in but <laughs> it almost fell out. Uh, however, as you can see that's the Apple logo on the front. It looks really beautiful. This is Apple's beautiful packaging which they're well renowned for. Feels relatively light considering that there's an actual fully functional very powerful computer in here which is pretty crazy. Of course, we get some documentation, the wonderful hello and welcome to Mac documentation there. Uh, I don't think I'll be reading this, this is my first Mac. Uh, and then the power cable, and you also get an HDMI to some random TV connection, TV input connection. Uh, however, I won't be using that either as this has an HDMI port. Let's take a look at the Mac Mini itself now. Let's just peel off the wrapping, the protective wrapping that the Mac Mini actually comes in. Once again, it feels really light and it's, of course, incredibly compact, and that's one of the main selling features of the Mac Mini, is that it's mini. So, um, as you can see, uh, a beautiful kind of rounded edge design, uh, and here is the bottom of the plate, which is where you access the RAM slots, and also where we'll be changing the SSD, as you can see to the top left of the video there. In the way of ports, it's relatively simplistic, and it's all on one side of the Mac. You get the power cable. I'm not going to read out each one, but, for example, you get everything you'd expect, such as USB 3.0 and Thunderbolt. And obviously, if you want to know which each one is, you can look on apple.com. There we have it. There's an introduction into the 2013 Mac Mini project. And that is, of course, for how to build an awesome budget Mac. You can, of course, customize each part. I'm just going to be showing you how to do it. So the next video will be the RAM upgrade. Finally, we'll do an SSD upgrade and then maybe a follow-up video on how it's performing, etc. If you enjoyed, definitely give this video a like as it knows that I'm doing the right thing with this series. All of the parts will be linked down below in the description. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.